my name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today I'm going to be testing out the Too Faced That's My Jam mini palette. I'm so excited. As you know, I love Too Faced and I love purple. So this is what it looks like and ah, I'm excited. I don't think it smells like, um, what's it supposed to smell like? Berry Jam? Berry jam. No, I don't think so. It smells sweet. It's like very light. Like maybe like a like candy, maybe? Anyway, I'm going to dive right in. I'm going to start with this shade here, Grape Soda. And I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics brush with a three on it. And I'm going to attempt to use that as my transition shade. As usual, this eye that I'm working on right now is primed. And the other one is not, just to see if there's any difference. It's soft. Like, it's not as um, vibrant as I thought it would be, but, like, I think it's still working nicely. So, there's the color in the pan, and then here's what it looks like on me. Let me see if I try to, like really press it in. No, it's just getting like deeper. I mean, not like a lot, but yeah. Oh well, that's okay. It's still pretty and it's better quality than the uh, matte lavender from the, what was it? The white chocolate bar palette. That was a totally different tone though. Very nice. I do like it. So for the other eye, I feel like it is ever so slightly warmer. Can you see that? Can you see the difference? And as usual, the blending is better in person than on camera. Like this here. And this here. Oh well. Next, I'm going to use my Ivy Y crease brush and I'm going to go into this shade jam on it. It's brown. <laughs> it's like a reddish brown. Maybe ever so slightly burgundy. Interested to see how that will apply mixed with this uh, lavender shade. I feel like it probably could be built up and maybe by itself it would come out darker than uh, like as opposed to layered over the purple. But I kind of like this because it kind of goes a little bit blackberry rather than brown when you use it this way. I did lose some of the purple though so I'm gonna go back with the other brush. I know people were saying that the purple wasn't showing up as well and this brown was like harder to work with than the usual Too Faced mattes. I would say the purple is like okay, it's just that um, it's not exactly true to pan. And the brown, yeah, when I first put it down, I don't know if you saw, but yeah, it didn't want to blend like right away like a Too Faced matte usually does but I mean it did go. I just had to put in a tiny bit more effort because usually for me the Too Faced mattes basically blend themselves but this was okay. I mean it was just like a smidge more effort. Oh by the way did I need this? I mean define need. <laughs> I love Too Faced and I love purple so here we are. Alrighty, next we're going to try Violet Femme. I don't think it's Femme is. <laughs> I don't speak French. It's this, like, um, I don't know if I want to consider it a duochrome. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. Like a subtle one, but it's there. And, ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to put that on the outer 
third of the eye, and I think on the inner third as well. I think I'm going to go for a halo eye today. That's pretty. I heard people were saying like, oh, it's not that intense. Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel that like this warmer purple with a blue um, shift to it like is never intense. Like for example, the one uh, in the James Charles Morphe palette. But I feel like this one is, is doing enough of a job. I think that's really pretty actually. And I have to say, I really like it with the crease that I came up with. Yeah, I'm gonna say this thing smells like maybe sweet tarts or something, which is okay. Then I'm gonna go in with this one here, grape soda, no, pickup limes. I wish the names were here, but oh well. This seems, ooh, that's a different texture. Um, that one's a little bit thicker. And yeah, I guess that's a duochrome as well. Look at that. So it's like a yellow gold, but it has like some green in it. Ooh. I'm putting it in the middle and just kind of blending it out to the sides a little bit. I don't know if combining those two duochromes was a good idea just so that, you know, they clash a little bit. Um, so like they kind of don't have their own time to shine, but oh well. Yeah, that one's definitely thicker. I feel like this one, if you apply too much, it's going to be like a little thick and chunky. I feel like it's going a little bit blue, almost. Um, and I don't know if that's because I'm combining it with the duochrome underneath. It's pretty. I feel like we haven't seen that kind of thing from Too Faced before. A little bit of fallout. Then I'm going to take this little brush from Wish, which is basically like the BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it, but a little smaller, denser, flatter. And I'm going to go with this one again brown one, or whatever color we want to call it, and I'm gonna line close to my lower lash line with it. And then I'm going to take the lavender matte again, and I'm just gonna try to blend it out. I have to admit, I was actually looking at the Huda Beauty Naughty Palette. I know, you're wondering why. For that one, like, bluish duochrome shade. And, like, the, the, like, deeper burgundy plum. But I feel like, I mean, I was smart enough not to buy it for those reasons. But, um, I feel like I basically got what I wanted from that palette right here. I mean, granted, I haven't seen it in person. But, I mean, based on the kinds of things that I like and the shades that I was eyeing, I think this does the job for me. Yeah, I hope this wears well and doesn't give me any kind of uh, allergic reaction because I have to say, I really like it. And, you know, I think it's going to be more versatile than we think. Because, yeah, we have, like, three lighter mattes. I mean, shimmers, you definitely have a lot of choices, and you can mix and match those. This, I have a feeling, is going to change depending on what lighter matte you mix it with. So even though there's only one deeper matte, I feel like you can get a lot of different looks out of this. I have a feeling um, it's going to be a nice, like, Valentine's Day palette, too. I'm going to do swatches now, um, ignore some leftover swatches that won't come off. So we have spread it. Oh, I guess that's this one. So spread it, grape soda, pick up limes, ha, huh, limes, and jam session, which is the pink.
That did not swatch well, but you saw it apply on my eyes. The pink felt a little stiff, so we'll have to see how that applies when I use it in the next look. Then we have Weeby Jammin'. That violet femme, whatever we want to call it, shade. <laughs> Toast and jam on it. You know, I feel like even this one might have a little bit of duochrome to it. That is nice. But before I move on to the next look, I just want to compare a couple things. So first off, the James Charles Morphe palette. I want to compare this shade here, Artistry. This palette is so big. See, it looks a lot brighter, but... I would say it looks more intense in the swatch, the James Charles one, but on the eye, um, when I had tested that out, I would say the intensity is about the same. If anything, I would say maybe the Too Faced one's a little better, at least for me, because I know some people like really had a good time with this shade here. Um, the tone is also a little different. This one is a little more of a cool toned purple, where this one is a little bit warmer ever so slightly. And then from Too Faced themselves, I want to look at the uh, Too Faced Life's a Festival palette. And look at that fun in the sun shade. I can't get the light to hit it, <laughs> but it's basically a um, like that same kind of lemon lime shade or whatever it was called. close. Um, this one is like softer. The other one's a little flakier, but um, I mean, I didn't have a big problem applying it. It was just that like if you put too much, it got, like, got a little chunky, so you had to make sure you like blended it out and didn't put too much. This one's a little warmer, like a little greener. This one has that slight bit of almost like a blue in it. And then from the Too Faced Then and Now palette, uh, Reality Star, I want to compare that one to this one here, that like pink shimmer. I mean, I haven't seen that one apply on the eyes yet. In the swatch, this one is flakier, more intense, and a little bit darker. I mean, the rest of these, we have seen this kind of color before. Uh, you know what? Probably from, here's Troy Bolton in the background, from how many years ago? <laughs> the Papaya Pop palette. I feel like that's a similar vibe to maybe this one. This Eye Papaya, maybe. Yeah, I would say this one's like slightly more peach, but yeah, pretty close. I don't think anything compares to the cool toned, or rather more cool toned than what we've seen. Uh, lavender, I mean, these we've definitely seen before. It's just that this one I think is gonna have like a, an interesting quality where it kind of adapts to, or maybe enhances the color you use underneath of it. And then, I don't know, maybe this one here. This one's supposed to be a duochrome. This one is Umbrella Drinks from the Papaya Pop palette. No, I think that's too red for this one here. Mm, closer than I thought, but still a little bit different. Um, gee, now that I've done that, <laughs> did I need this palette? <laughs> no, I guess not, but I kind of wanted it 
mostly for the purples and because I love Too Faced and I mean I'm not disappointed though yet. <laughs> I'm hoping I won't be. Like I said, I'm hoping it wears well and that it doesn't cause any kind of allergic reactions. So is it totally unique? Mm, the colors aren't totally unique, um, even within like Too Faced itself, but uh, they're all together in one palette. Was I showing off the wrong palette? This palette, not the papaya palette. This one. Remember when I said I wasn't disappointed yet? I don't know if it was a fluke or not, but I have to say this didn't wear too well. It kind of faded. I mean, it still looked okay at the end of the day. Like, you know, if someone was taking your picture or you were going out, like, it was okay. It's just that it wasn't the same look that I kind of started with. I feel like the shimmers were pretty much the same, um, but the mattes had faded. Also, I feel like my eyes were irritated the next day. Um, could have been allergies, but could have been this. So today I'm going to try a look with the other shades and hope for the best. Um, this is a first impression though, so fingers crossed that it was just a fluke. So I'm going to start with uh, this Mr. Right brush from Too Faced. This is the blender one. It's basically a fluffy brush. And I'm going to start with spread it. Yeah. The pink or the light pink. Whoa, okay, that might be too much. Hmm, that's pretty. Also, ignore the super dry skin. I don't know what's going on today. Pretty. Next, I'm going in with this one. This is the Smudger brush from the uh, Mr. Right collection, and I'm gonna go in with Toast, which is this orangey brown, and that's gonna go in the crease. And because I want to see if this kind of transforms the look any. I'm going to go with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 6 on it. And what is this called? Jam on it. And I'm going to tuck that in the innermost part of my crease. And remember, hooded eyes, so this is not a great idea, but I just want to try it out for color's sake. Am I covering my eye again? doing that a lot lately. Yeah, I do feel like it's um, a little browner now that it's being layered on top of the uh, like orangey shade. Then I'm going in with the pink shimmer, which is Jam Session. I'm gonna press a little harder yeah, to make sure I get in there. That's pretty. I'm gonna put that on the outer outer third to outer half of the eye. I feel like that one's a little harder to get onto the eye, which I expected that from how the swatch felt the other day. And then I'm going to use Weeby Jammin' on the inner two thirds to inner half. Okay, so that came out. Can you see that? It's a lot um, like flakier glittery than I expected. I feel like it didn't swatch that way yesterday. I think for most people, this is going to need um, a glitter glue. I'm just going to blend it into the pink. But, yeah. I mean, it can be done without one, but I think it would be better with a glitter glue. 
Yeah, see, it doesn't swatch that way, but it is that way. Definitely fallout from that. I'm also not loving the look that I came up with. Why am I all the way down here? Um, I'm going to go in with that deeper shade again. And maybe put a little on the outermost corner. I feel like with the crease that deep, the outer corner should be a little deeper. But that's just preference. I feel like this is going to need some cleanup. Next I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it. And same deep shade. I'm going to go on the outermost portion of the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the hot pink. Looks like it's picked up properly. And I'm going to just start following along. Mimicking what I have on the lid. And now for this one, let's see what happens. Picked up. Ooh, picked up too much. Huh, that's interesting. So maybe this one is actually better with a brush than a finger? I don't think I've ever encountered that before. Ouch. And it tastes sweet. And it's not bad, but like, it doesn't belong in your mouth. I hope I don't get sick. So for a little cleanup, um, what I usually do is I take my Maybelline Fit Me powder and my dollar store brush, and I just take some of the powder, and I literally just kind of stamp along the side to the shape that I want, and then blend it out a little bit. This does put more like powder on your face, but I find that it's easy to do and works for me. All right, so I like how the look turned out once I deepened the ends a little bit. Um, it applied well. I like the colors. Uh, it just depends on how it wears and if it causes a reaction or not. So I'll either come back and let you know or write it across the bottom of the screen or put it in the description box. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye, see you next time.